Good evening friends and welcome to another video. Welcome back and today we are making the world famous or should I say American famous Pizuki which basically it's a pizza cookie. For all of my American friends I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It's on YouTube everywhere. BJ's restaurant as far as I'm aware is the most famous Pizuki restaurant in the planet known all around the world. For you that don't know, it's a pizza cookie, everyone's screaming about it and I've got a recipe for you guys to follow to make your own pizuki at home. Now, you're going to need a few simple ingredients and these include salted butter, vanilla extract, brown sugar, in this case I'm using coconut palm sugar, normal white sugar, some flour, couple of eggs, chocolate chips, baking powder and bicarb of soda. So that's all you need for a pizuki. Obviously you're going to need a nice round skillet stick free and preheat the oven for 180 degrees. And all in all it should take about 45 minutes, 15 prep and half an hour cooking. So let's get to it. I'm going to put the ingredients in the description box or on the screen somewhere here. So let's get to it everybody. So into my bowl I've put the um, button, I've put it in the microwave as a cheat because I left it in the fridge, forgot about it and now I had a hard butter so nothing we can do about that. So that's 125 grams, just get it nice and mixed up there. Zero off the scale we're going to go in with 125 grams of normal white sugar and again guys this recipe is not for you counting macros because this will be everyone's macros I'm not kidding you. So 125 grams of that and 150 grams, the zero off the scale again, of that. So this is, as you can see, slightly sugarlicious. There we go, that will do. So that's the other sugar done. And now we're just gonna mix this in making sure to smooth it out as much as we can and this is what it looks like and remember the guys this is my first attempt so if it doesn't work oh well two eggs and beat those in as well so you can see the process is quite simple if you have a hand blender please do use it and now this is where the forearm and the bicep and the tricep starts moving into action. And then you go, it's getting smoother and smoother. So I'm going to stop recording for a second once I've smoothed it all out. I'll be back. So that's done already, smooth out as much as we can by hand. And now in with some vanilla extract and again mix that in nicely and that will do for this bowl so that's one bowl done all right now we're going to take a separate bowl and put our dry ingredients so in this one we are going to put 200 grams of plain flour and I hate working with flour because it goes absolutely everywhere so let me try and get in there, 120, there we go, making sure as little spillage as possible. Baking powder, we're going to put in one teaspoon, bicarb of soda or bicarbonate of soda, we're going to put in a quarter of a teaspoon and almost forgot we're also going to need a pinch 
of salt. And that's it for the dry ingredients, everybody. So we have our wet ingredients in one bowl, our dry ingredients in this one. Just give it a quick stir. And I think this will make definitely more than one pizuki. I think this will make about 10 pizukis, but let's have a look. So that's mixed in. We can now take our bowl over here and slowly incorporate little by little the dry ingredients. Put it too much, too quickly, it's gonna go absolutely lumpy and that's the last thing we want with our pizuki is a lumpy pizuki. So let me stir this in, I'll get back to you once it's all stirred in. And there we go, that's what we're left with, this kind of consistency. Almost like a, oh, a cookie dough batter. And now we're gonna transfer it into our pizuki dishes. So I was actually wrong, once I've transferred the bowl into my pizuki round dish, it's one whole dish, so I won't need the second one. So, so this is about 10,000 calories I reckon, but you know what, sometimes you just gotta got our milk chocolate chips to sprinkle on and then also remember that pizuki nut normally comes in with some ice cream on top once it's baked but because we've used up so much already and plus I don't have any ice cream we're not going to use any so sprinkle some of these choc chips onto my pizuki there we go Make sure every bit is covered. And now I'm gonna chuck this in the oven for half an hour. So fingers crossed everybody and wish me luck with the pizuki in the oven. So about 10 minutes in and so far the pazuki is looking really, really good. Uh, rising on the sides like a pizza. You can see hopefully on the camera the ring around it and looking actually very delicious. So looking forward to it. Let's see what other 15, 20 minutes brings. So I've put these ingredients into my fitness pal and this one pizuki is 3000 calories, 123 grams of fat, 434 grams of carbs, and an amazing 36 grams of protein. So time is almost up. Let's see what it looks like. And here is our ready-made pizuki, as you can see and it doesn't actually look that bad at first attempt. Uh, one thing I would recommend for the amount of ingredients that I gave you, do put it in two pans, don't put it in one, because the thing rose so much that it went over the rim and covered the whole of my oven pretty much in the same amount as this pizuki. So separate it equally into two tins. These are, I would say, about 20 odd centimeters in diameter. Put it in that amount into two tins and that way you won't have the explosion. So that's my pizuki everybody. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next recipe video. Good night. Right guys, one more thing that I need to add at the end before I forget, little note. Like I said, use two tins. If you do use a bigger tin and put all of the ingredients in, I cooked that for about almost 38, 39 minutes. So nine minutes longer than I told you according to the recipe and for the last 10 minutes I just lowered the temperature to 140 degrees so see you soon and by the way it was amazing <laughs>